Good morning everybody. Welcome to our rules and etiquette section. We do this on a Wednesday. So today is Wednesday the 18th of October 2017. And today I'm going to talk a rule about breaking anything fixed or growing during either your backswing or your downswing. So back in January, before I had my shoulder problems, I was playing uh, in a little club competition and I, there was a bit of a hold up on the second tee and we were standing waiting and I noticed the group in front, one of the players had hit his tee shot to the right and there are some pampas grass like this to the right of the second hole and he was you know, going back and moving all of this stuff out of the way and then going ahead after he'd bend it all back, you know, go ahead and hit his shot. So when we got to the third tee, which is a par three, there was again a hold up. And while they were standing, I walked up onto the tee and I said, you know, I'm sorry that I'm going to have to penalize you because I have to protect the field. So we're going to, and he took it very well and, and he was glad that I'd pointed out the rule to him and I was I was so worried because when we penalize somebody we always worried about a, a confrontation you know and um, I never understood that I mean if you break the rule and you are playing in a competition you have to play by the rules so if you break the rule I don't know what the point is that why you get mad and why somebody penalized you so if you're playing friendly competition I'll always point out the rule and say hey you know if you do that again in the future you know, I'm going to have to penalize you. Don't do it again. So here we have a situation. And when I'm off the cart path here and these things are in my way, even if I do a practice swing and I hit this and I break something, it's a penalty. If I have a branch above my head and I swing back and my club hits the branch and a couple of leaves come falling down, it's a penalty. So you cannot break or move anything fixed or growing on your backswing or on the downswing as well. If you break something on the downswing, it's also a penalty because you're clearing the way. So the right way to play the shot would be to figure out where I can swing without touching either here or behind me. So I say, okay, this is, this is where I could swing. Now, I'm now aiming too far to the right. So I now know that I've got to put a little bit of a hook spin on this to get the ball back on the fairway. So for those of you that don't know how to intentionally hook it, just close the club face a little bit here at the address. Just close it, then make a normal swing and the ball will curve for you. So I play the ball a little bit further back in my stance because I'm sitting on some mulch here. And so I don't, I want to make sure I hit the ball first. I've done my practice swings to make sure. So now I can go ahead and I can hit a nice little draw out there to get it back in the fairway, back in play. Uh, if the green is close enough, I can try and uh, hit it on the green. If I hit anything here on my follow through, there is no penalty because the ball is gone. I can't affect the outcome. So if my club hits this side, no penalty. So again, the reason I do rules and etiquette in a golf tip blog is because you can lower your scores. If you understand the rules and you playing round after round after round and never get penalized, as you can see on the PGA Tour, the LPGA and the PGA, the players are constantly getting penalized for little infringements that they don't know or don't realize. So understand the rules, it'll improve your golf scores.